In this video, I'm gonna show you what happens when a head has been either installed or repaired and it's shoved right up next to a curb or the concrete sidewalk. And when the guys are edging, this is what happens. And I'm gonna show you how to fix this. And I've done another video on this. You can see that right here. But I'm gonna show you this as another example of what not to do when you're either doing a repair or an installation for the first time. <laughs> Let me show you something. So I wish I would have showed you this before I dug it up, but I dug it up and I, I looked at this head and I thought to myself, this is a perfect video opportunity. Now what was happening is this head was very close, almost right on this curb. You can see this curb. And every time this guy edged this, he hit this head. Now it was because it was pushed up against here. Now I've dug this out and I've found several extensions, which let me know this head has been worked on several times. So there's a couple things. When you're first installing, if you're an installer, you're first installing, don't cram them right up next to the curb here or a sidewalk. And when your fitting is way too close, your fitting in your pipe is too close, you need to move that out. In fact, in the state of Texas, you're gonna be four, you've gotta be four inches from any hard surface. Well, my hand is, you know, not quite four, but it's pretty close. So I usually put my head hand here and then my head would be outside of that. So it would look something like that. But it's gonna give you the room and it's gonna eliminate this because what's happened is, you can see, this is cut right here. Water's just shooting out everywhere and it's really affecting this zone. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but this uh, right here is very dry and we're, we're losing a lot of water and pressure right here. But the other thing is, if you're gonna fix this, don't put all of this dirt back in the grass and cram it back up against this curb. Because what's gonna happen, this is what's gonna happen, and I keep saying this, while well, I'm making another video so we hear it again, the guy edging this is gonna hit this head. It's gonna break the head, it's gonna cause a leak, we're wasting water, we're not getting the water we need on the grass. So this is why when you do a repair, put the dirt behind it and even push it up a little bit. Now it might be angled just a tad, but that's gonna be okay. It's not gonna affect it too much. I'm gonna take this off. How many times do you think this head has been hit with an edger? Well, I know a really good time right here. He sliced all the way into it. And I mean, even the top is loose. I've seen them hit it where they just unscrewed it. You know, if they're coming from another direction. But this head's been hit quite a few times compared to a new one. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we've got a new head here. And I've got it, this, this riser down here, this extension, and I'd already taken it off. It's a full extension. I need to cut one off. But instead of using this old dirty one, we're gonna use this new one here. Now, this grass is real mow with a real mower. So we wanna be right below this top because they, they cut it pretty, pretty low. So something like that. Now when we backfill this, I'm gonna make sure this head is pushed out from this curb. So all I'm doing is I'm grabbing some of my dirt and I'm smashing it behind here. I already kind of got it set, but look, we've got, well, I've got three fingers in between there, but at least the guy's not gonna edge it off anymore. And it's almost straight up right there. But take your dirt, pack in around it, get it set where you want it, and then you can finish filling this in. And then of course you want to do your best job putting this all back. You've got the irrigation fixed, but you can't hardly tell that you were there. Clean this up, pack it all smooth. Then we've got our head. See how far this head is? It's actually, yeah, it's still the three, three fingers and it's actually pretty straight up and down. Perfect. Now I know some people's philosophy is I'm just going to repair it. The guy's going to keep hitting it and I'm going to keep coming back and repairing it. And this is job security. But guys, we don't wanna have that philosophy. When you're busy, I don't have time to come back and keep repairing the same thing. I wanna fix it right the first time, never have to come back to this again. That's the kind of way we wanna approach doing some irrigation work, is let's fix it good, right, 
We don't have to mess with it again, and it's perfect. Kelly Staggs here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. Consider subscribing, that way you don't miss any tips. This video right here is the last video I did of this exact situation. Check it out, that way you get a double dose.